Hey everybody, this is Deepak Ajay from Upsidon Labs and in today's video, we are going to see how to record biopotential signals using Backyard Brain Spike Recorder in conjunction with the Bioamp hardware, specifically with Bioamp XGPL but you can use any Bioamp hardware of your choice like Muscle Bioamp Candy, Muscle Bioamp Biscuit, Muscle Bioamp Shield and more hardware is coming soon so stay tuned for that. Now without further ado, let's get started. You have to go to Backyard Brains website. Just click on this link backyardbrains.com. Then you have to go search for the Backyard Brain Spike Recorder. Under store, you will find a link to download the software. The software is called Backyard Brain Spike Recorder. So just go to this link. Now you have the option to download it for Windows, OS X, Linux and you have an Arduino sketch also. We are using Windows so we'll just click on this but we have already downloaded the software and installed it. You just have to click on this, install it. Now that you have installed Backyard Brain Spike Recorder onto your laptop, just click on this Arduino button to download the sketch. It will open up this file called Spike Recorder Arduino Code. Just do Ctrl A, Ctrl C. Now you have to create a new blank sketch onto your Arduino ID, do Ctrl V and to save just press Ctrl S it will ask you for the name, I will give it a name of Spike Recorder Code now it is saved now you are ready to flash the program onto your Arduino Uno just connect your Arduino Uno to your computer go to tools make sure the COM port is selected for the Arduino Uno in our case it is COM5 then I'll just click on this upload button it says uploading now uploading is done now you have to open backyard brain spike recorder so I'll search for spike recorder and I'll just open it up when the backyard brain spike recorder starts it will start recording from your audio source the microphone to change that just go into settings the first button from upper left hand corner select the COM port of your Arduino Uno and click on connect now Arduino is connected but we haven't connected the Biomp XG pill to the Arduino a basic connection diagram to connect the Biomp XG pill to the Arduino is currently shown on the screen just make the connections and come back to this video we'll just do the same and we'll start recording our biopotential signals that includes your ECG EMG, EOG and EEG. We have delivered three types of Biomp cables since its inception. All of them are shown on the screen right now and you must connect IN positive, IN negative and reference of the Biomp to the IN positive, IN negative and reference point as shown in the connection diagrams. Do not rely on the color coding of the cables as they might be different for you. Now that you have connected the Biomp EXG pill to your Arduino Uno or any Arduino of your choice. You can follow the diagram on the screen to connect the electrodes to your body to record ECG signals. We have connected the Biomp EXG pill to record ECG signal from my heart. You can see there are some signals coming up but they are not very clean. To clean the signal, we will go back to the settings. We will set the bandpass filter for our recording. I will choose 4 as the lowest frequency and 40 as the highest frequency. I will also enable 50 Hz notch filter because I am in India. You can choose 60 or 50 Hz according to your location. Now let's see the signal. It seems pretty clean now and I think now it is looking like uh, an actual ECG. Not only visualization, you can also open up the FFT graph to see the frequency domain signal of your biopotential signal. We don't really need this for ECG. We'll see how to detect the peaks of our ECG using uh, this tool. So now you can see that ECGs are coming. There are various options available for Backyard Brain Spike Recorder for specifically recording, monitoring of uh, biopotential signals. 
more information will be shared in the description box below and you can check out the first link of this video if you are seeing this on crowd supply you can check all the links available and the diagrams available not only visualization we can also hear our signals we'll have to go to settings uncheck mute speaker go back and enable this i hope you were able to easily record your ecg signal now let's see how to record the emg signal we are going to record the emg signal from our ulna nerve a connection diagram is being showed on the screen right now just make the connection and come back to this video i have already made the connection but the configuration is set for ecg we'll just change that i'll go to settings i'll change the lowest frequency to 74 hertz and highest frequency to 740 hertz noise filter for 50 hertz is already set so we are good to go i'll press on this plus button to increase the signal visualization so as you can see we are we are able to record emg signal very easily using this connection you can record muscle signals from any part of your body just connect the positive and the negative sensory electrodes to the muscle you are targeting and the reference electrode at somewhere where there is no interference from the muscle you are recording that can be a bony part like your elbow or any other part that can be easily connected to a jelly electrode i hope you are feeling pretty excited after recording your heart signal and your muscle signal in this experiment we are going to record a very fun signal that is our eog or the signal near your eye we are going to specifically record vertical movement of eye but you can also do horizontal recording connection diagram for both are shown on the screen right now just make the connection and then come back to this video let's start with the connection so i'll take one jelly electrode i'll put it here although it is recommended to have the connection made before you remove the sticker so just connect the electrode then you remove the electrode and you have to connect the reference behind your ear one electrode above your eye and one electrode below your eye i'll just remove the electrode from my arm and i'll connect the electrode to my eye i'll remove the other electrode i'll just connect the electrode first i'll remove it as a sticker and i'll just place the electrode now we are done with the connection let's see how to record your eog the backyard brain spike recorder is already set for emg recording so if i move my eye basically there are some muscles near your eye that are being excited when i do this movement and what you are seeing here is the emg signal of your eye but we are mostly interested in the eog signal so let's configure the software for that go to settings we'll use the signal of 2 to 10 hertz now we'll come back to the visualization area now if i move my eye you can see there are some signal that directly correlates to the movement of my eye mostly the vertical movement if i do horizontal movement there is not much difference but if i do blinks or if i do vertical movement you can clearly see the signals blink 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 up down up down so in this experiment you have seen how to record the vertical movement i think we can also do the horizontal movement recording let's change the electrode position it is very painful so i'll just connect the electrodes for horizontal recording now it is ready so if i move left and right you can see the signal i am not moving my eyes right now signal is almost flat left right left let's try to increase the signal 
visualization now you will be able to easily see the signals looking at the signal you might be thinking that we can do eye tracking with this that is definitely possible and we'll make a video for that also just take a look how the signal looks when i move my eyes to the right and my eyes to the left you can clearly see that the difference in the signal is enough to detect if i am seeing on the right or on the left the same can be done for vertical movement up or down if you combine all these you can create an eye tracking device using eog let's see the eeg recording now you might be waiting for this one for a long time the entire video actually so it is pretty simple although i recommend to use new electrodes we are going to use the same electrodes right now just place the electrodes on the forehead now we are going to configure the backyard brain spike recorder for recording eeg signals click on settings button set the frequency from 4 hertz to 14 hertz basically we are targeting alpha waves right now the eeg signal can be recorded from 1 hertz to around 35 or 40 hertz so for entire eeg recording raw eeg recording you have to set the low pass filter to 1 and high pass filter to 40 The signals you are seeing on the screen right now are originating from my brain and propagating through all the layers to the surface of my skin. Then we are connecting the electrodes to the skin by a big chip is recording the signals then sending it to the ADC of our Arduino and we are able to visualize it using backyard brain software. In this case an FFT graph is required and currently you can see the FFT graph is pretty clean. But if I move or do some movement, you can see there are some signals. Let's try to record alpha waves. I'm pretty sure it will not be possible because we are recording from the frontal cortex. But it is possible when you record from the visual cortex. A video will be shared in the description box below where we recorded alpha waves from John's head. So let's try to record alpha waves. I'll close my eyes now. There was some difference but not much. We will increase the frequency response from 1 hertz to 40 hertz. Let's see. Now a lot of signal is coming through. Let's see if we can record something now. I close my eyes. So it was a very basic experiment. You can take it further and record the EEG signal from around your frontal cortex and visual cortex. Let us know how it goes for you and we'll keep improving. We'll show more ways of recording EEG signal and all the other biopotential signals using our upcoming hardware and the BioMVX GPL. That was all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you haven't subscribed already, just press the subscribe button and like this video. We are coming up with more awesome videos related to DIY neuroscience and biopotential signal recording. Until then, stay safe, be curious, peace.